Hello and welcome. Uh, today we're just gonna do a little tour of my cages. Uh, <laughs> Riffy's right there just like, what's going on? But yeah, we're just gonna go through with the cages and stuff. So uh, full disclosure, uh, these cages are about five days past the initial cage cleaning. So they're not as neat and pretty as they were day one. And tomorrow is the day I spot clean. So like, they're a little messy probably gonna see some poop <laughs> so yeah anyway let's get into it all right here's a sailor hi sailor hi. hi starting with this door we have these wooden ledges that <laughs> we made ourselves uh nothing really special about those we have a foraging wheel this isn't my favorite version of this kind of foraging wheel because the screw is super loose and it's really easy to pop the door off if you're not careful. Hello? Hello? I'm just bothering her to bother her. Uh, Riffy, I need you to open that door. Okay, well, we have another one of the wedges. Hi! <laughs> oh, you can see your little tumor. Yep. We have another one of these wedges. Uh, if you're new here, Riff Raff has a mammary gland tumor, but she also has a pituitary gland tumor. So she's on medication for the pituitary gland tumor but because of that. I can't get the mammary tumor removed. So we're just monitoring that now. So we have another one of these ledges and down here we have the egg foraging wheel, which is another, sorry, a sailor's coming at me, another must have. And then we have one of these uh, ledges, a hammock ledge that I like to keep in all my cages because they make good like fall breakers and stuff. She's like, don't touch me. Don't touch me. <clears throat> Come on, guys. Get to go. I'm going to open up this door. We have one of their water bottles. Their other one is on this side. Can you see it? Ah, the other one's on this side. We have a Heidi. Hi, my love. Uh, this is a space pod, which all my rats love. We also, I gave them a paper bag <laughs> to kind of play with, and it's halfway in the space pod halfway out and Heidi's currently sleeping on it. She also wants to know what the heck I'm doing. So this is a hammock. This is a bunk bed hammock from an Etsy shop called Ty's Rack Shack. And uh, my triplets love specifically this kind of hammock. So I always give them one. We have this pink basket here that I have fleece in. And this is just from Walmart. They're super cheap. My rats always loved them. I've had them in my cages for years. Back here we have a basket. It is full of aspen, though I am not going to continue putting aspen in it. I have cardboard paper that I'm going to be getting. Uh, I just, I've had some issues with aspen that I'll talk a little bit about in my next video. But suffice it to say, it's been causing some health problems with my rats, so I'm just getting rid of it. And then we have this pink hammock that's behind the first and behind the space pod. Another bunk bed hammock. I just got that one off Amazon though. And lowering down, we have two of these three foot dog ropes that you can get at Walmart. Hold on, I have to grab Sailor. <laughs> that you can get at Walmart. Um, so fairly cheap. They used to be $8, I think now they're $9. And I also have two of the, I think one foot ropes from Walmart in the corners. There's one, there's the other. Also from Walmart, those are like five bucks. Uh, this is just a soda box. I put it in here with all this bedding material for Heidi thinking she'd want it, but she's completely ignored it except to kick it out of the box so that they can then live in the box and have fun in the box. So there's a Riffy. Hi Riffy. Hi Riff. Can I pet you? How about a kiss? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. You're such a sweet baby. You're perfect. Yeah. We have a foraging ball here. Sailor loves these. She really goes ham on them. And then we have a hide. I do like to provide a hide for my rats just because they do enjoy, sometimes they nest in it. Sometimes they just like take their food in it. Sailor is notorious for having little hordes of food in there. You're blocking the hide riff. You're blocking it, babe. <sighs> Hi. And then lastly, the substrate. I am currently using Santa chips, which is a dust-free option. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I don't have food for you to do this. Uh, again, I used to have them on Aspen, but I've been having issues with Aspen, so I've switched to Santa Chips, which I'm just going to be using for the time being. I don't know for how long, but for right now, this seems to be the best I can do for my babies. So it works fine if you have a cage where they can't burrow, like I do, but if you have a deep substrate, this stuff will not hold a tunnel. So I would suggest something that would hold a tunnel because, I mean, if you had, that's kind of the point of the deep, deep base. Sailor, sailor trying to escape my child. All right, so that's it for this cage. I'm going to pop Sailor back in, pop Riffy back in, and we're gonna close it up. Okay, we're closing the doors, guys. Closing the doors. Everyone inside. <laughs> okay. Hi, oh, you're so beautiful. Thank you. Oh, you can't, no, no, I, Mama's doing something. Here, here, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm sorry I bothered you. Moving on to d double credit nation number one. I don't know how to do this because they're all going to come at me. Which is fine for the most part. I guess let's just go. So uh, the first water bottle is right there on the outside. The first child is right here. Don't come at me. Or be gentle if you do. So first door, we have another me and foraging toys. We have a foggy. Uh, this wooden ledge I bought, I cannot remember the brand name though. I've had it for a long time. Come here, come here. Okay. This one I got off Amazon. Again, I don't remember the brand, but these are be super easy to find. Just type in lily pad ledge. Their second water bottle is right there. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get her. Hi, baby. They have a corner water box in the back that's filled with half paper pellets and pi half pine pellets. I don't like pine pellets, nor do I recommend them, but I, I happen to end up with a bag of them and I'm just trying to use them up by mixing them with other stuff. There's a rat grabbing the phone. There's a rat escaping off me. Uh, there's this hammock, which I got off Etsy from, I think the shop was called the Linen Roses, which is just, it's a good hammock for down here. I also have one of those Walmart ropes in the back, in the corner, just to kind of give them a ledge to the hammock. I have this hide here, which is actually a bowl. <laughs> it's a mixing bowl from Walmart that I, uh, that my dad, oh, <laughs> go in here, baby. That my dad sanded a hole in that you can't see because of Sunny's butt, but okay, right there, right there. I have another of these ball toys. Hi, I'm gonna close this door, okay. Closing the door. Tails, toes, and noses inside, please. Okay. So we have this door hammock, which I made myself. Again, all my doors have them, but I made this one myself. These night angel ledges, these two, which I do really prefer wooden ledges. These are, in my opinion, high quality ones. I've had these, I think for a couple years also, not entirely sure, at least a year, at least a year. And then we have this foraging wheel, I don't know the brand of it, but this one's a little bit better than the other one I got. It was more expensive, and I assume that's why I got the cheaper one the second go around. But we have a cloud making an escape. What are you doing, cloud? Here we have their water bowl filled with their supplements. That's why it's yellow. Those are supplements. <laughs> uh, we have this hammock, which I made. Let me just pop you guys back in. We have this space pod right here. This one has one of the little legs broke, so I just put it at the bottom and they seem to really love it. I always find Foggy down there sleeping in it. Like you can see, I gave them paper as well and they have torn a bunch of it up, put it in there. I'm gonna have to clean that out tomorrow because it looks like they peed on it. And then we have this wheel. This is a 16 inch wheel from an Etsy shop called Pandemonium Pets. <laughs> We have chaos. <laughs> okay, and then right here, we this is a seagrass mat, which you can find on Amazon. I believe that's where I got this one. It was a Christmas present, but I believe that's where they got it. And we're closing this door. Ma'am. <laughs> this is their first litter tray. It also has the mixture of paper and pine pellets. Ma'am. <laughs> okay. We have this bridge, which is 
slowly being decimated by my massive chewers. Uh, I don't, I've had this one for years. I don't remember the brand name or where I got it. I'm sure it was Amazon though. You're gonna climb the phone. <laughs> we have this basket here that I got from the dollar store. It has Aspen in it currently, but this is also going to get replaced with cardboard once I have cardboard. We have three of the Walmart ropes. There's one, here's one, and there's one back there underneath this, which is a bird perch. Let me open this up, guys. Which is a bird perch that I got off Amazon. We have an old lady. Hi, homie. Hi, baby girl. Let me just scoop up my troublemakers. I don't have food for you, baby. I don't have food for you. You want to come here? Oh, my lovely baby. She's she's an ancient little girl. Like that. Is that just dirt? Did someone bite you? All right. We have these two ledges, which... Hold on. Humdrum's coming to say... You gonna join the party? You coming to join the party? Come on. You can do it. We have these two ledges, which I've had for a long time, and I don't remember the brand, but I probably got them off Amazon. What are you guys doing? Hi, baby. Here. Come hang out with Mama. We have another of the Walmart baskets, again, with fleece inside. I change the fleece daily to make sure it doesn't smell too much, and since... Uh, that's the only thing I change daily. They don't feel the need to like overmarket or anything because the basket also smells like them. We have their second litter box. I have a hide here just so they can feel secure while they're eating. Ma'am. Ma'am. Cloud. Cloud. <laughs> uh, and then we have another space pod and an escapee. And then right here we have another uh, one of those Amazon hammocks. Humdrum likes tube hammocks or bunk bed hammocks or any, or uh, what's it called? Double decker hammocks. Pretty much, I have a rat chewing on this. Hold on. <laughs> Pretty much any hammock that she can feel cozy and warm inside because she is a double rat, which does mean she doesn't have a ton of fur, especially in her old age. Want to go back? Want quick? What are y'all doing? Okay, so that is the first. Oh, you're going back. Here, go, baby. Here, go, baby. Such a good baby. Hold on, I have to get your. <laughs> Told you they'd all come at me. Okay, so that is the first double critter nation. Let me get everyone back inside real quick. Okay. Y'all want a treat? Moving on to. Moving on to the second critter nation and the last of the cages. Um, there's six rats in here and they're all awake, so wish me luck. <laughs> Let's start right here. It's pretty much the same as the other double critter nations. I tend to decorate these very similarly, but we have children. Hello. But uh, this is their first litter tray with the piper with the paper and pine pellet mixture. Thank you for the kisses, Warren. And they have a pink hide. As you can tell, I don't do much to coordinate my cages, but in the future, I'm going to fix that by just buying everything in pink and wood. So, like, it'll look coordinated, and you guys will think, you guys will think I'm all organized and stuff, but in reality, I just buy a lot of pink. <laughs> Hi. Hi, babies. All right, let me open the door. I'm closing this. I'm closing this. <sighs> Fine. So over here, we have two more of the Night Angel wooden ledges, which I like. We have a very sleepy Orby. She's deaf, so she has no clue I'm right here right now. She's asleep. She cannot hear me. She has no clue. But she's demonstrating use of the basket. <laughs> so this is the pink basket that they all like. Thank you, Hex. That they all like with the fleece in it from Walmart. We have their space spot here. Hi. And then they are using this Night Angel hammock in the back from Amazon. A lot of people will say to get the more expensive hammocks because it works out better, but for in my experience, my rats do better on the cheap hammocks because they tend to rip open the expensive hammocks and sleep inside them. Ma'ams, by the way, there is normally seven in here, but Hopper is over there right now. I'll discuss that in next week's video. 
Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pull some of you out. Okay, come on. Come here. Come here. Okay. Here we have a bug. Hello, bug. Stepping in their supplement water. <laughs> so that's their water bowl. That's where theirs is. They have this pink basket from the 99 cent store. It's, it has aspen in it. Here's bug again. Hello, buggy bug. They have another basket over here. Looks like they filled it with all the nesting material I gave them. So all I see is cardboard and the, ba uh, the paper sack. They, ha they also have one of these. I have new ones that aren't as used and dirty, but I'm waiting for intros to replace them because eventually I'm gonna be doing intros with this cage over here. And I, I just wanna save all the neutral stuff for that. We have a less damaged bridge right here. And then we have a much more damaged seagrass mat right here. Orvi likes to chew these, it turns out. And there's just, it's hanging on for dear life. And we have a bug. Hello, bug. Hey, bug, bug. And we have more of those Walmart ropes, the three foot ones, one right there, one right there, and one right there. And then obviously, their second litter box filled with the paper and pine mixture that will eventually just be paper. And we have a water bottle. You coming? You wanna come over? No? You too scared? Okay. Okay. You don't have to come over. Yeah, you don't have to come over, baby. You don't have to hang out. Oh, I love you though. You do? Yeah, look at you. Good girl. You're being so brave. She's a very shy baby. <laughs> okay. And then we have another door ledge or wall ledge, hammock ledge, whatever you want to call it. And then we have this lily pad ledge that I need to actually screw in real quick. There we go. Currently have five rats on me, so this is going to be an adventure. I have to kneel down now, and I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> Let's see if we all make it, shall we? And down. We made it. <laughs> and then we have another one of these thin ledges I got off Amazon. And we have a one of the foraging wheels. One. Two. Three. And Hex gets to stay with me because she's on my shoulder. We have two more of the Night Angel ledges, which are really good. I like them. I have like six or seven, maybe eight, and only one has ever broken on me so far. And then we have another egg. We have multiple children wondering what I'm doing. We have a, this was for nesting material. They haven't taken it up to the top yet. We have a foraging ball back there. Another mixing bowl that I turned into a hide. We have Honey, who found a raspberry and is taking off. We have Bug, who's trying to escape. <laughs> uh, this is one of the hammocks I made. This is a giant water bottle, because this group loves this water bottle specifically, so I put a big one here. We have this hammock that I bought off Amazon. <laughs> and then we have their corner litter box, and the small rope from Walmart. Ma'am, do not even think about it. And Orvi did not wake up even for a second. And believe me, if she had, she would have been the star of this video. I'm closing it up. I'm closing it up, guys. Y'all want a treat? <laughs> Y'all actually already got a treat. I'm closing it up, bug. I'm closing it up, bug. Okay. So, yeah. That is all my cages for the time being. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do, all the fun stuff down below, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.